Native American Cuisine, Wikipedia Article Audio Native American cuisine includes all food practices of the indigenous peoples of the Americas. Modern-day Native peoples retain a rich culture of traditional foods, some of which have become iconic of present-day Native American social gatherings. Foods like cornbread, turkey, cranberry, blueberry, hominy, and mush are known to have been adopted into the cuisine of the United States from Native American groups. In other cases, documents from the early periods of contact with European, African, and Asian peoples allow the recovery of food practices which passed out of popularity. Native American Cuisine of North America Eastern Native American Cuisine Southeastern Native American Cuisine Western Native American Cuisine Dishes Native American Cuisine of the Circum-Caribbean Native American Cuisine of Mesoamerica Some Known Dishes Native American Cuisine of South America Andean Cultures Other South American Cultures Cooking Utensils Crops and Ingredients Non-Animal Foodstuffs Hunted or Livestock Bibliography Modern-day Native American cuisine is varied. The use of indigenous domesticated and wild food ingredients can represent Native American food and cuisine. North American Native cuisine can differ somewhat from Southwestern and Mexican cuisine in its simplicity and directness of flavor. The use of ramps, wild ginger, miner's lettuce, and juniper berry can impart subtle flavors to various dishes. A chef preparing a Native American dish can adopt, create, and alter as their imagination dictates. The essential staple foods of the Eastern Woodlands Aboriginal Americans were corn, beans, and squash. These were called the Three Sisters because they were planted interdependently. The beans grew up the tall stalks of the maize, while the squash spread out at the base of the three plants and provided protection and support for the root systems. A number of other domesticated crops were also popular during some time periods in the eastern woodlands, including a local version of quinoa, a variety of amaranth, sumpweed slash marsh elder, little barley, maygrass, and sunflowers. Southeastern Native American culture has formed the cornerstone of Southern cuisine from its origins till the present day. From Southeastern Native American culture came one of the main staples of the Southern diet, corn, either ground into meal or limed with an alkaline salt to make hominy, using a Native American technology known as nixtamalization. Corn was used to make all kinds of dishes from the familiar cornbread and grits to liquors such as whiskey, which were important trade items. Though a lesser staple, potatoes were also adopted from Native American cuisine and were used in many ways similar to corn. Native Americans introduced the first non-Native American Southerners to many other vegetables still familiar on Southern tables. Squash pumpkin, many types of beans, tomatoes, many types of peppers, and sassafras all came to the settlers via the native tribes. Many fruits are available in this region. Muscadines, blackberries, raspberries, and many other wild berries were part of Southern Native Americans' diet. Southeastern Native Americans also supplemented their diets with meats derived from the hunting of native game. Venison was an important meat staple, due to the abundance of white-tailed deer in the area. They also hunted rabbits, squirrels, possums, and raccoons. Livestock, adopted from Europeans, in the form of hogs and cattle, were kept. Aside from the meat, it was not uncommon for them to eat organ meats such as liver, 
brains, and intestines. This tradition remains today in hallmark dishes like chitlins, commonly called chitlins, which are the fried large intestines of hogs, liver mush, a common dish in the Carolinas made from hog liver, and pork brains and eggs. The fat of the animals, particularly of hogs, was rendered and used for cooking and frying. Many of the early settlers were taught southeastern Native American cooking methods. In the northwest of what is now the United States, Native Americans used salmon and other fish, seafood, mushrooms, berries, and meats such as deer, duck, and rabbit. In contrast to the Easterners, the Northwestern Aboriginal peoples were principally hunter-gatherers. The generally mild climate meant they did not need to develop an economy based upon agriculture but instead could rely year-round on the abundant food supplies of their region. In what is now California, acorns were ground into a flour that was the principal foodstuff for about 75% of the population, and dried meats were prepared during the season when drying was possible. This region comprises the cultures of the Arawaks, the Caribs, and the Siboney. The Taino of the Greater Antilles were the first New World people to encounter Columbus. Prior to European contact, these groups foraged, hunted, and fished. The Taino cultivated cassava, sweet potato, maize, beans, squash, pineapple, peanut, and peppers. Today these groups have mostly vanished, but their culinary legacy lives on. The pre-conquest cuisine of the Native Americans of Mesoamerica made a major contribution to shaping modern-day Mexican cuisine, Salvadoran cuisine, Honduran cuisine, Guatemalan cuisine. The cultures involved included the Aztec, Maya, Almec, Papil and many more. This currently includes recipes known from the Quechua, Aymara, and Nazca of the Andes. The earliest utensils, including knives, spoons, grinders, and griddles, were made from all kinds of organic materials, such as rock and animal bone. Gourds were also initially cultivated, hollowed, and dried to be used as bowls spoons, ladles, and storage containers. Many Native American cultures also developed elaborate weaving and pottery traditions for making bowls, cooking pots, and containers. Nobility in the Andean and Mesoamerican civilizations were even known to have utensils and vessels smelted from gold, silver, copper, or other minerals. Maize, beans, and squash were known as the three sisters for their symbiotic relationship when grown together by the North American and Mesoamerican natives. If the South Americans had similar methods of what is known as companion planting it is lost to us today. Agiaco, same as pepper pot, a soup believed to have originated in Cuba before Columbus' arrival. The soup mixes a variety of meats, tubers, and peppers, barbacoa, the origin of the English word barbecue, a method of slow grilling meat over a fire pit, jerk, a style of cooking meat that originated with the Taino of Jamaica. Meat was applied with a dry rub of allspice, scotch bonnet pepper, and perhaps additional spices, before being smoked over fire or wood charcoal. Cassabi, a crispy, thin flatbread made from cassava root widespread in the pre-Columbian Caribbean and Amazonia, Bami, a Jamaican bread made from cassava and water, today this bread is fried and made with coconut milk, guaname, a Puerto Rican food similar to the tamale, made with cornmeal or cornmeal and mashed cassave together, pastels, this dish may have also been called guaname and originated from Puerto Rico. Pastels were once made with cassava and taro mashed into a masa onto a taro leaf. 
They are then stuffed with meat and wrapped, funch or fungi, a cornmeal mush, casserip, a sauce, condiment, or thickening agent made by boiling down the extracted juices of bitter cassava root, mamawana, a tea made in Hispaniola, pepper pot, a spicy stew of Taino origin based on meat, vegetables, chili peppers, and boiled down cassava juice, with a legacy stretching from Cuba, Colombia coast, and to Guiana, bush teas, popular as herbal remedies in the Virgin Islands and other parts of the Caribbean, often derived from indigenous sources, such as ginger thomas, sarsop, inflammation bush, canip, worm grass, worry wine, and many other leaves, barks, and herbs, wiku, a fermented, cassava-based beer brewed by the Caribs of the Lesser Antilles, tamale or taumalan, a carob sauce made from the green liver meat of lobsters, chili pepper, and lime juice. Grilled guinea pig, a native to most of the Andes region, this small rodent has been cultivated for at least 4,000 years. Fried green tomatoes, a nightshade relative native to Peru, cereaca, a corn liquor, chicha a generic name for any number of indigenous beers found in South America. Though chichas made from various types of corn are the most common in the Andes, chicha in the Amazon basin frequently use manioc. Variations found throughout the continent can be based on amaranth, quinoa, peanut, potato, coca, and many other ingredients, chicha morada, a Peruvian, sweet, Unfermented drink made from purple corn, fruits, and spices, colada morada, a thickened, spiced fruit drink based on the Andean blackberry, traditional to the Day of the Dead ceremonies held in Ecuador, it is typically served with guaguatapan, a bread shaped like a swaddled infant, though other shapes can be found in various regions. Quinoa porridge, charqui a type of dried meat, humitas, similar to modern-day tamales, a thick mixture of corn, herbs, and onion, cooked in a corn leaf wrapping. The name is modern, meaning bao tai, because of the shape in which it's wrapped. Lacro is a hearty thick stew popular along the Andes mountain range. It one of the national dishes of Argentina and Bolivia, Masamora morada, a thick, sweet pudding made from ground purple corn and fruit. Sold in mix form in Peru, made de coca, a Peruvian tea made from steeped coca leaves. It is commonly sipped by indigenous people living at high altitudes in the Andes to prevent elevation illnesses, pachamanca, stew cooked in a hosha oven, papas a la huancana, Peruvian potatoes covered in a spicy, peanut-based sauce called huancana sauce, potasca, spicy stew made from boiled maize, potatoes, and dried meat, ceviche, raw fish marinated in lime juice. One of Peru's national dishes, cancha or tostada, fried golden hominy, lachwe, salsa of Bolivia, lapangachos, mashed potato cakes from Ecuador, tocash, a traditional Quechua food prepared from fermented potato pulp. Baden, an Andean grinding slab used in conjunction with a small stone una, buran, a clay griddle used by the Taino, comal, a griddle used since pre-Columbian times in Mexico and Central America for a variety of purposes, especially to cook tortillas, quia a gourd used for drinking made in South America, matate, a stone grinding slab used with a stone mano or metlapil to process meal in Mesoamerica and one of the most notable pre-Columbian artifacts in Costa Rica, molinillo, a device used by Mesoamerican royalty for frothing cacao drinks, molcajit, a basalt stone bowl, used with a tejú load to grind ingredients as a Mesoamerican form of mortar and pestle, pela, 
an Andean earthenware bowl, cooking baskets were woven from a variety of local fibers and sometimes coated with clay to improve durability. The notable thing about basket cooking and some native clay pot cooking is that the heat source, i.e. hot stones or charcoal, is used inside the utensil rather than outside.